Hey YouTube, my name is John Hammond and this is a video write-up for the challenge Shellcode from Pico CTF 2018. So this is worth 200 points, it got mediocre solves, I think, binary exploitation challenge. Uh, we've seen this before in Pico CTF 2017. It doesn't seem to be too difficult, it's just a matter of finding some proper shellcode. So if you don't know what shellcode is, you could simply Google it, but it is just kind of essentially machine code, right? Or like like ops, Intel processor instructions, or, or compiled bytecode to do things, to uh, actually make a program, like, actually do something else that it wasn't intended to do, like properly give a shell, usually, that's why it's kind of called shell code, but it's got, it can do other things, right, just making it do something else. So this program executes any input you give it, can you get a shell? You can find the program here in the source code, on the shell server, blah blah blah. So you can download this stuff, I've got it downloaded here, and we can mark it as executable if we wanted to, and then we can actually check out the source code. So, not really all that interesting, just we know that, okay, it's going to go ahead and execute whatever we give it in a buffer, like as if it were code, as if it were, like, compiled instructions. So, let's try and see if we can track down shell code. Let's, we want to get a shell, right? So, a resource that I use for this is shellstorm.org, and their shell code actually has just a page for a lot of interesting stuff. And let's say we're working on Intel x86, right? But we are working on Linux. So let's find something that will execute bin bash or bin sh or whatever the case may be. Something that will actually go ahead and give us a shell. There are a lot of options here. I like to have something that uses tac p so it keeps privileges just fine. Um, and let's look for that. Let's just look for tac p. Pin bash, pin sh tac p. That one will probably work. Yeah. Oh, exec ve pin bash pin That one's perfect. 33 bytes. So what we care about is this hex, right? The actual machine instructions and in, in opcodes and assembly. So let's go ahead and paste those in to Sublime Text, I'm gonna cut up those new line characters in quotes, so, and all the spaces as well. So that way we just have that in Python. And then what I will do is I will have Python print that out. So I'll use print, paste it in here, and then that's essentially running bin bash. Let's go ahead and give that to the vuln function. And it says, thanks, executing now, but it closes right away. So why is that happening? Well, we aren't capturing kind of the, the input that, that that bash or the shell is waiting to receive. So what we can do is we can actually execute our payload and then immediately following it. So I'm gonna wrap these in parentheses, right? These commands here. Immediately following the execution of our payload, we'll open up cat or we'll run cat. So standard input will remain open and that stuff will actually go to the bash shell. So I can run ls, I can run who am I? And you can see we're getting our commands back. So. Now this is, this is happening on our local box, we want to be able to see how we can get it on the shell server. So what we'll do is go ahead and connect to it and move to that directory. I've got that ssh.script that I created earlier, so I can simply run that and log in. I might have mistyped my password. Yep, I did. I'm sorry. I fail. I'm John Hammond, the fail whale. Let's change directory there, and let's copy and paste that payload that we have here. We've got vuln visible, and we can just run that payload, and now we're executing bash, run ls, see who I am. I'm still the user, but I have the privileges to now read that flag.txt file, and we've got the flag. So, that's simple, right? We've kind of done that before in Pico CTF 2017, uh, just a matter of tracking down shellcode and knowing what will do what, what will actually kind of work for us. Uh, I've tried to use pwn tools before to generate some shellcode, but I never seem to get it right. Um, I think there are some tricks and tips to make, actually, actually make that happen and make it do the right thing, but when I just need to grab a shell and I don't have a, a huge limit at the amount of bytes I can put in, I just use Shellstorm because uh, it's an awesome archive and a really good resource for a crap ton of shellcode. So... Hey, before I go, I do want to give a shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you early... Whoa, sorry. Was going to say the wrong thing. Was going to say the next one following that. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. It's not a lot, I know. It's small incentive, but hopefully it makes you feel like a good Samaritan, just a, a cool dude, a nice guy, 
get those warm, fuzzy feelings in your heart, helping, helping out another guy just trying to make it in the world or something. I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate all your support. $5 a month on Patreon, as I said, will give you early access to every video that I release on YouTube before it goes live, because I like to try and backlog some stuff and then upload them to YouTube and to be released, like, kind of scheduled on a scheduled basis, like maybe daily or whatever other timeline. So if you want the content immediately, right when it's ready, it's just $5, and it certainly helps me out. I'm grateful for whatever you're willing to provide. Thank you. Hey, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. It's a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. We're already playing a lot of games just like this. Pico CTF is going to remain online as a war game and just a place to practice your skills, so don't stop playing and just get better, man. That's awesome. It's all about learning. That's what the Discord server is for. It's just everyone to learn and just improve ourselves. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you've seen... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs>